some ways, I like to think of CJD and describing it to patients and families as Alzheimer's disease in fast forward. Whereas most neurodegenerative diseases, patients live for many years with this disease. With CJD, patients often only survive for a matter of months. At UCSF, we're one of the leading centers in the world in researching the causes and also looking for treatments, improved treatments for CJD. We're currently running the first and only U.S. treatment trial for CJD here at UCSF, which we hope to finish by sometime in 2009. Dr. Stanley Prusner's laboratory here, as well as other laboratories, are trying to come up with a cure for CJD. The other aspect of their research and our research is trying to find new ways to diagnose this disease. We often refer to CJD as the great mimicker because depending upon where the prions are accumulating in the brain, one can have many different neurologic symptoms. For instance, if the prions accumulate in the part of the brain that controls vision, someone might have visual symptoms. If they occur in the or accumulate in the hippocampus, they may develop memory problems. Some of the more common symptoms of CJD are early behavioral and personality changes, confusion, memory loss, gait uh, disorder or imbalance, problems controlling one's arms or legs. But these symptoms can also be seen in other diseases. Almost one-third of patients that we actually evaluate at our center with a diagnosis of CJD prior to coming here, we actually find another diagnosis. Often it may be another neurodegenerative disease, such as Alzheimer's disease, dementia with Lewy bodies, or it may be a completely other type of neurologic disease, maybe a disease that has a treatment now, today. So we have found many patients to have autoimmune diseases, which are very readily treatable by suppressing the immune system. One of the goals of putting together these video clips and to put them out to the world is to try to educate families and physicians around the world about CJD. If we can make the diagnosis earlier, then we will have a much better chance of getting a patient into a treatment trial so that any potential treatment has a better chance of working.